right guys we've got another Stephen Hayes video now um this is basically i want to try and give a bit of um a boost not that my channel is very big anymore but a bit of a boost to punch kick choke chat episode 88 so i've just been sent this from one of my um listeners readers viewers and it's uh got quite low views at the minute so go over there and have a listen to the interview see what you think but i'm going to discuss something that stephen hayes says now it's got sean benson in it who i think is the leader of the uh the youtube site randy Dol dolphin uh nick suino if i'm getting that right uh gary legacy and hayes so um now something he said now they say some great things it's really good they say some great things there's one thing in there which opens up actually quite a good discussion and stephen hayes says this there's some things that you know maybe were not quite true so i think number one is that uh the ninja was a dedicated uh practitioner of this spying and sabotaging and uh you know you could hire these ninja not really the truth the ninja lived in this iga and shiga area of japan and way before there was a war and one side lost the war and they retreated to the mountains and became what we call the ninja but the ninja saw themselves as you know the rightful rulers of their territory now <coughs> excuse me the question we've got here is right he's talking about basically the invasion of Oda nobunaga into Iga. now i must admit i think there's a slight dig at me there though but you've got to be careful because a lot of the times when you watch something and if you're sort of involved in the community you sometimes think it's about you but you're not but you just say uh he doesn't think that they're just these you know hired out spy sort of things i am a little bit on that one basically one of the premier aspects of being an eager ninja was that you were hired out uh, there's not much to do in eager <laughs> if you ever go to eager there's not much to do you sit around have a bit of tea have a sandwich think oh what shall i do next you know have a go on my scooter you know it's, there's not much to do in eager you know so predominantly they're hired out these guys are hired out and in fact there is a recall i've still never been able to find the original documentation ever i can't believe i can't find it but it is pretty much attested that there's a recall for ninja after um they have basically been taken over so what he's saying here is that he doesn't think that the ninja were just solely these spies and that they were going to take or they they had a deeper aspect that they had their hometown and they wanted to take it back because it was taken over by Oda Nobunaga and his retainers um, in in the past. Now, this is right, it is correct, but it does open a few things. And he says they then become the ninja after that. That's, that's tricky, that's really tricky. So, what we've got to be careful of here is just banging fingers as ninja. And again, leaving Stephen Hayes to the side, this is just what you should all understand, is... They are samurai. If you look at the eager rules of, um, you know, the, what they laid down before they went in to go against Obunaga, it says, you know, if an Ashigaru has done well, promote him to samurai. They are samurai in the samurai class. They are not some sort of out of the way backwater surrounded by mountains that you can't access. It's a really, you know, it's got famous pottery there. They, they, I think they had a road up to Kyoto where they traded with pot in pottery. They had some of the most famous actors were from there. It's not this backwater place with the mountains where you're like ninjas are running around, but it's just another samurai domain. Just happens to be quite good for that. However, we have to be careful. There is an assumption here that all ninja are from Iga and Koka. This is not true. This is just not true. All ninja are not from Iga and Koka. It can be argued that ninjutsu comes from Iga and Koka, but I would even say that is not true. It probably... Because even the ninja, this is the bit. Now, I need to do something in the future, which is basically go through some of the original documents again with Yoshie and sit there and see if it says these ninja are the best or they are from Iga, they originate in Iga, because most of the time when you read ninja information, it does not say they're from Iga, it says they are the best are from Iga, but you have to, you know, and then some of them, most ninja are from Iga, yes, but that's, there's questions here, is where did ninjutsu originate, 
Are ninjas only from Iga Koka area? These are the questions that actually start breaking that down. So the idea that the ninja went off and they just wanted to get their lands back. Now, yes, they wanted to get their lands back, absolutely. But at the end of the day, that was not going to happen. And I think they knew that was not going to happen. There was no sort of real attempt to retake their lands. They had been decimated by Oda Nobunaga. The power structure of Japan at the time was way too colossal for some scattered eager samurai families to then take control back over because remember you go Oda Nobunaga, Hideyoshi, then you go Tokugawa. It's like it's like me. It's like the Welsh. Let's take the bloody Welsh. So it's like the Welsh saying, you know what? Um we're gonna we're gonna take Wales back. They've been trying for a thousand years. And to this day, to this day, I lived in Wales for seven years. Bloody Saxons, bloody English taking our land you've been you've been a citizen of england for like a thousand years when are you ever going to get over it so probably eager and Koki, yes they did want their lands but it was not a real thing and nobody be really believed they were going to get it done to my opinion there was no real sort of attempt at taking it back and the just steamroller of of like the unification of japan took over eager and Koka. so we have to be careful here that we don't from them statements Imagine that the ninja are a single entity, that they afterwards were for trying to get back their land. They actually afterwards tried to get employment. That's what they really did. So this is uh, comes up in the Ban Sen Shukai, or the Man Sen Shukai. Basically, they this they send a letter with it saying, "We want employment. You know, um, please employ us." The simple fact was is once you take over a warrior class's land and they're no longer now Scott from Sengoku Studios was talking about this the other day. Basically, Ikis are there. They join together. So these are bands that join together, families that join together to fight against. And you might have, I think, in Iga Koka, it's like 10,000 people were fighting against the hordes of Japan. And they were crushed. Let's be honest. They, they, they did well, but they were crushed. And I think decimated is probably more the word, which apparently comes from the Roman Latin for every 10th man who, who fled. They would bring back and... Out, out of a group of ten, one of them would draw straws and they would all kill that one to decimate, meaning ten something. So I don't know that how true that is, but that, that's my casual Latin reading. Um, so basically this idea that they then went on to be the ninja in Eager and Coca. No, 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 this doesn't happen. It basically... Ah! What Shut up. It's the opposite, bloody dog. It's the... What are you looking at? God, this tax sound that I've suddenly a stepdaughter has bought. Now I've got to look after. Um, so what we find actually is you you've got a load of good warriors doing ninjutsu in the early, um, sorry, mid fifteen hundreds, mid fifteen hundreds. This is we only get this information from shadow from from shadow documents later on, which talk about like for generations they've come from Iga. The best are in Iga. Um, but the people from Eager themselves don't say it's from here. They say it's from outside of Eager. This, that's where it gets all in the shadowy, you know, land there. And then what happens is they are, they are their own people. They fight against, they hide out all over the country. They fight against Nobunaga. And these people are still hired out all over. And what happens is, is by 20 years later, so Nobunaga's 1580s, only 20 years later. That's almost as long as I've been on YouTube now, yeah? You know, in fact, I've been on YouTube Oh, no, 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 20 years. So about, so double the time I've been on YouTube, which basically is not long in history, yeah? It's not long in history. The Gumpo Jyotar is written, and Oga Sawara himself says they've been here, they've been from Iga for generations. So we shadow research that backwards. So Nobunaga takes over, he gives it to certain people, other people take their stuff. Uh, oh, sorry, it's passed on, the domain. And uh, from there, what happens is uh, you get them trying to get, 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 oh, for God's sake, it's gone. So basically from there, what happens is they go out all over the Japan and they sort of are hired by people. But after that, after the wars, Tokugawa and people like that start cutting their wages down and say, well, we don't need 20 of you, we need 10. And everybody starts stripping them down. But this is a period of peace which jumps up. So all over the land... Yeah, mainly you've got people who from Iga and Koka all over the land who are Shinobi no Mono, Koko Mono, Iga Mono, and they are basically multiplying.
but the, the, the wages are getting lower. So what you find is they're then getting different jobs or they might be going off into doing different things. And back in their homeland, which they do go back and, you know, they, they do travel back and see, uh, or so we believe from the documents. Uh, back in the homeland, they've, they've run out of money and they, they can't maintain a warrior lifestyle. So they, they're trying to get money from the government they say come on and the government like we don't really need ninjas anymore we don't what are we going to do with you all so bit by bit they get dropped in status dropped in wages and all that and then just within a hundred years farmers so this idea so it's, it's, stephen hayes is not wrong but you could infer a problem there is that that they went away and hid in the mountains and that was it no 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 they literally dissipated into society and to this day, you ask people in Eager, there's no like passed on tradition in Eager. There's no one in Eager who's like, you know, this just kept going. It just died. It died to death. And to this day, people are finding like letters saying, oh, your ancestor was a ninja. Oh, right. Brilliant. My ancestor was a ninja. You know, in Eager, there is no ninjas, you know, and they weren't for a long, long, long time. It just became a, a poor backwater farming district. That's it. So anyway. But the main point is here is go and support um, Sean Benson on... Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen Sean. So Punch, Kick, Choke, Chat, 88. Obviously, the link will be down below. Um, and have a look, see what Stephen says. Because apart from that, what, what they all say is pretty bang on and everything. Everything's there. Everything's done. So enjoy. Right, that's my work for the day. So um, don't forget, guys, if you're interested in the Ninja, you want to obviously get Book of Ninja by far, really. That'll start you off on your path.